going to start doing it now, okay? All right, gentlemen, here's the deal. Me and Polo are going to discuss our Calaveras fishing trip. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we're going to do a malt liquor video and a malt liquor review at the same time. Bet Sips, Sip Silva can't even do that. No, he can't. That's multitasking. That's something that we can do. We even did this on the uh, fishing boat, too, at the same time. And we caught some big fish. Yeah. How about so, your trip, Sip? Yeah, yeah, Sip. Chris, Chase, <laughs> you know, you saw our fish. And here you go. Malt liquor. Schlitz malt liquor. Mm. Good crack. Even got a koozie. How is that stuff? Oh, it's nice. Beer review. You know, I've never drank a Schlitz malt liquor. Oh, no. Damn, it's almost 6% APV. Pretty sure it's something that Sip drinks after a bad fishing trip. Mmm. Kind of skunky. Kind of skunky. Yeah. Yeah. That's like it's floating around in a cooler for a while. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yeah. Man. Kind of skunky. Unless you gotta drink it once you open it. Yes, you do. You have to drink it. But after you drink probably about three of these, you don't taste that, that flavor probably. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Not bad, pinky out. That's a little skunky. Now, we went fishing with at Lake Calaveras with Mr. DNA Hog Hunter. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm ready to see him on Marvel Comics. You know, he'll be up there with Batman, and who's the other ones? Uh, Thor, and who's the other guy? Uh, Superman. Definitely not Sip. Definitely. No. Never no. see Sip Silva on a cover of a magazine or anything. Yeah. Well, he was like on the Fantastic Four, wasn't he? That rock guy? <laughs> Clomping around, something like that? Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah, Sip, we're giving you a hard time, man. You know, a Gandhi Dog Channel. You know? Haven't seen many, uh hunting videos or fishing videos of you doing much. Yeah, yeah. Did you even shoot that doe or did your uh, cousin shoot that? I think that was some old footage you dug up somewhere. Probably off that, that channel called the Hog Zone. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know, we'll have to see. Yeah, Sip, we're giving you a hard time. Now, y'all need to check out. Sip has a group on Facebook called Texas Outdoors Posse. Now, you need to go check it out. It has anything you need for the outdoors on that group. Just go check it out and join the group. It's open to everybody. The only thing is, just don't go over there and get some fishing tips, you know. Yeah, taking a chance there. If you really want fishing tips, just come to me. As you can see me on the video, yeah. caught a lot of fish. You were the star of that video, man. You were tearing them up. Hey, that's you know? what you got to do. I know. I think, I think when you, you, know, you put that special oil all over that line, <laughs> you know, and you told DNA that's, that's going to catch the fish, I think you were right. Back 35. Right. That's it. Big boys. That was it, man. We caught some big fish on that video. And it'll be linked to this beer review. This skunky beer review. Slits malt liquor. See. Now, now that other guy, Texas Bucksnort, he likes doing wine reviews. Oh, yeah. I haven't heard much from him. I think he only got one duck today. Yeah, something like that. Must be taking tips from Sip. Mm-hmm. Or shooting skills from Sip, maybe. You know, I don't know. Didn't you shoot your hat off your head when y'all had that lease down in El Campo? Something like that, or around there or something. I don't know. He might have. <laughs> you know, I'd bring deer in and he'd say, oh, yeah, I, I got that one. Yeah. I got that yeah. <laughs> He'd drag him over and film it like he got it. That's what he did. Yeah. But, uh, you know, he likes doing those wine reviews. Problem with Donald doing wine reviews, he's got to learn another language. You have to, you have to say, like, Pinot Junior and uh, Burgundy. You know, you got to talk like one of them French guys out of the Matrix. You know, that guy that was real annoying? That's what wine does to you. You ever drink wine? No. Oh, man, I drink malt liquor. Malt liquor. That's <laughs> it. That's it. Now, I, I don't drink wine much either. I drink beer, but, you know, it makes you, it makes you, you like you got to talk like that. Yeah. It's that French thing. I don't know what it is, you know. But, but then again, they're out there digging up mushrooms and shit. You know, who the hell eats mushrooms? It's like a chicken breast. I guess if you put the two together, you have a big load to throw away. Well, one of them catches fish, though. That's so. true. We did. Yeah, that was a, that was a good trick. Out of that video, man, we learned something. We yep. did learn something. Use chicken breast to catch big catfish. Must have been the bait. And a cheese bait. That's it. Must have been the bait. It's kind of like, you know, back in the day when I was a player, you know, I'd walk in them bars, boy, they were all over me. Good bait. I think that's what it was. Something like that. Yeah, and then I woke up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Now, some about these uh, beer reviews, you got to get them done in about 10 minutes, so yeah. we are struggling through these big tall boys here. Yeah, it's real skunky. So what do you think? It's skunky? It's skunky. Kind of bitter? Yeah. Kind of, kind of aluminum-y? I definitely recommend this if you're low <laughs> on cash or you're on food stamps like half of America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube channel probably. Yeah, that's just the way it is. Skunky. I got Shark Week on mine. See, that's that's what we were pulling in the big fish. That's very appropriate. I got the hog zone there on mine. Go. That's it, the hog zone. I still got uh, three of these at my house. Definitely need pretzels. If you're gonna drink this stuff, you need a handful of pretzels. That would that salt would probably Yeah, take off that edge. Take off that edge. I should have brought up some fajita seasoning. We could have dusted it up. But it wouldn't be a true wine review because my awesomeness of the fajita seasoning would overpower the malt liquor. But we're not doing a wine review, man. We're doing a beer review. We do are doing a beer <laughs> review, yeah. That's the other thing about beer. Now, you, you know, you start drinking beer, your tongue gets fat. <laughs> you know, you get to, ah, that, that, you know, instead of, you know, like that. So, Sip, when are you going to start cooking again? Seems like after that fajita challenge, you got a little bit scared there. Yeah, what no, yeah, we haven't seen him. It's, I must have smoked him out when he made that. Because uh, what happened challenge. is, I heard that he went, you know, he filmed it. Mm -hmm. But while he was filming it, Nephus was preparing him, and then they brought him to the house, and then he played it ah, off. Ah, there you go. His wife came home with takeout. Yep. Oh, that makes sense. That's Ronnie Dog. That's rough, man. Now, that's another guy we need to talk about is You Know You Want It Food Porn Group on Facebook. Oh yeah, Mr. Manuel Man Rios. Manuel Rios, the barbecue king, soon to be a god. He can be right up there with you know the Dino Hall Hunter. Uh, you know, you gotta wear like long johns and a cape oh, yeah. when you say that. You know, but that was a good trip. We smoked him. I mean, the cooler wouldn't even close, y'all, at the end of the day. Yeah, there was you a know. guide out there. The his guys, his clients were coming over to our fish cleaning station. Take a picture with our fish while he cleaned the minnows that they had caught that That's day. That's it. That's it. Now, you were looking a little girly when that fish bit you on the thumb. Oh, uh, that yeah. did hurt, and I still got the scars. They hurt pretty bad, so I suggest you that was That was pretty intense, man, you know? Yeah. Next time I'll listen to when people are telling me, don't <laughs> stick your hand in a fish's mouth, or yeah. this catfish that is. It'll bite. Well, you know what? You need to go sh shark fishing with DNA and do that. Then you, then you can be real wide. You can be like viral and stuff. <laughs> That's how you do it. You just hand the shark to zone one of your friends and let him bite his arm off. That's how you do it. That would, that would suck. <laughs> yeah. Skunky. Yeah. I wonder why they don't they have a Red Bull malt liquor? Oh yeah, that four locos or something. I don't know. Probably sip. No, I think there's a red. I think they put Red Bull in malt liquor. Oh Jesus. Now I'm not a Red Bull drinker because it tastes like shit too. So. That's my review on Red Bull. It tastes like hell. I just drink a cup of coffee. Hell, I drink an old pot of coffee before I drink that crap. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh. You know, old hog zone here, we had to load his depends up on the boat. <laughs> just the way it is, though, you know, when you go fishing with old people. Yeah, but then you, yeah, that's true. That's true. But then, <laughs> yeah, but then, you know, we were able to hang one of those jug lines on there. You know. <laughs> oh, and just to, you know, when old hogs on here busting me out in front of the wife on the camera. Yeah. You know, I got a few lashes for that at home. Yeah. Yeah, I apologize, but, you know. Got a lot of cushions so I can still sit down. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to keep her in the good graces, so next yeah. time we call and we go bay fishing, she'll go, oh, yeah, you can go with him because he's, he's like my buddy. <laughs> he's taking care of me. He's going to show me everything he says. <laughs> See, so, th so there's a method to my madness. That's true. Malt liquor. Malt. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, that's a part of the, this right here is an integral part of this video. Hogs on Killing Crew right there. We're going to put this on the Deep Fried King channel. Oh, yeah. But that's where the magic happens. <sighs> or, I don't know if you call it magic, probably more like a train wreck. You know. <laughs> I think you need to do some more cooking videos, man. Yeah, I do. I need to get, but it's Christmas time, man. You know, you can't be, everybody's coming over and they got cookies and they got this and they're like, try this. And, you know, granny's got something and, you know, and you're like, yeah, damn. Or you, you know. can go to 
six stores and try to buy wrapping paper with the wife, and she's still not happy oh, with the wrapping paper. Damn. That's Luckily, uh, my buddy here gave me a call and said, let's do this beer review. So this is uh, definitely filling that void I had earlier. Well, Santa San, uh, Santa Claus will definitely uh, pan give you a kitchen pass on that one. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I don't know about this, man. You know, everybody gives you all these Christmas stuff and all that junk, and man, all the food comes in. You just might as well not cook because stuff just keeps showing up. Yes. You know, what's your worst Christmas food? What do you hate? Shows up every year, and you're like, and they're like, try it, try it, eat this, and it's It'd probably be some type of seafood dish or ceviche or something like that. Right. I'm really not a big seafood kind of guy, but I will eat the catfish that I cook, the mm. catch at least. Yeah. Which they made excellent fish tacos when I went hunting. Right. Uh, my wife and her family ate them. Oh, that's fish. awesome. That's good. So, yeah, that's my son did the same damn thing. He cooked them up. And yeah. He was uh, fried them and all that stuff. I haven't cooked mine yet because I'm not cooking right now because it's Christmas time. So, but they are in there. I am going to make a deep fried king, deep fried catfish video because that's just the way you eat it. You know. Believe it or not, I got a good catfish recipe from a guy. When, anyway, long story, I was laid out when they gave me the, the recipe. Talking about deep fried cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Let's put it this way. I had a leader, one of the fishing leaders run up my groin at the time. It wasn't really it, it real fun. But, you yeah. know, you know nurses aid, you know. Hey, rub it, with, rub it down with mustard and then batter it. So, that's what I'm going to do. Heck yeah. Weird how shit comes around. All right. Schlitz malt liquor, it's less skunky now, but now I'm down to the swill in the bottom. Yeah, it's definitely. Mm. Uh, any other channels we need? We need to talk about Bohemian Hunt Club. That guy must be just driving all over the country because his brother's been carrying his water for him, I think. David? Yeah, you guys have been smacking some deer down over there. That's awesome. I think, uh, <clears throat> what, Bore Your Bows is another channel? Yeah, Bore Your Bows. Bore Your Bows, he's still doing his thing. And uh, all that type of stuff. And he makes some friggin' fine bows. I'm telling you guys, the guy makes some fine looking bows. And a few of y'all already got them. You know. So you want a traditional bow, look him up because they're pretty cool. They're very unique, which is, you know, something. You just gotta, you just gotta appreciate hand craftsmanship. That's yeah. all I can say. Best way to do it. That's it. Oh! And there's one other guy we got to talk about. It's it's that Klondike of the North guy, Mr. Jeff James. Yeah. Oh, the guy Jeff, from Canada. The guy from Canada, formerly known as Canadian Badass. Oh. But he okay. doesn't have Prince's money, or looks, for that matter. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. He was trying to make some type of guacamole in Canada. Mm-hmm. Do they even know what an avocado looks like? Over I don't. There? I don't think so. I don't think so. All they know is well, I guess. If you paint a snowball green, you got an avocado. Yeah. Something like that. And now, now he's living in that big apartment, and I keep telling him, Canadian badass, you got to throw a paper airplane off the balcony, dude. Come on. I mean, seriously, you're up 45 stories or something like that? Paper airplane. Yeah. Wouldn't you do that? Wouldn't that be like the first thing you did? I'd probably bungee jump off of it. Well, <laughs> that'd be cool. Be close. Yeah, base jump off it or if something. you do some of that Mission Impossible shit, you know, flying out, slamming down <laughs> the bottom, that'd be that'd go viral. You know, definitely would. <laughs> when you smack the pavement. <laughs> I think he's too big for that though. I don't yeah. think he would want to do that. What other channels are out there? Uh, There's so many guys. There's so many guys. We do appreciate you watching. You know, we're just doing our little beer review here as we go along about our merry way. I'm getting down to that swill, man. Yeah, I don't crush it, but. Yeah. That's skunky, man. Yeah, definitely if you're low on money, I'd tell you to get some of these. And, so uh, it's my leg. I'm getting a little, you know, low. I can feel it. That yeah. APV is kind of kicking bit, in. A little bit warm. And it's a tall, a tall boy. You know? Yeah, this will uh, make you sway after a six-pack, I can guarantee you. Oh, yeah. Probably give you a bad hangover, too. I don't know. I'm hoping for Christmas to get a 
camcorder so I can start making my own videos. There you go. Yeah, you, you got to get a channel, man. I got to get a channel. You got to get a channel. Set it up. Well, everybody, you got a cell phone, dude. I make a lot of my videos. Believe it or not, guys, you got a cell phone, you can make videos. That last video of that uh, smoky beans that I just made, uh -huh. just all phone. off my phone. That was it. That was it. You know, so you get, they, I mean, the phones now are just freaking crazy. Now, the smoky beans were awesome, but I don't know about that video. You know, yeah, it just was what it was, you know. Tomorrow I'm going on a pig hunt with uh, Wendy uh, Hendrickson. She's the hog diva on a uh, YouTube hog channel. Hog hunting diva, I think Hog hunting diva. Yeah. And, uh, you know, lady holds world records and stuff, so... Hope I can learn a thing or two from her and maybe smack some pigs around. I hope so, man. I hope you have some damn good luck. She's like a, has some type of club, doesn't she? For yeah, Texas. Uh, check out a Texas Crossbow Hunting Club. Pretty good thing. They got a lease out there in uh, Lakey. That's where I'm headed tomorrow. So that's it. Try it out. You know, see what happens. You're gonna crossbow them to death. Yeah. That's it. I hope you go because a lot of those people get nail them. I see oh, yeah. a picture. She I'm gonna posts. do the pig jig. Pig you know, jig. Because. This guy doesn't do it anymore. <laughs> Last time I seen a pig on the ground was, I think, almost two years ago. Yeah, it's getting kind of thin. <laughs> it's getting kind of thin. <laughs> but let's not talk about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's talk about our fishing trip. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Now I really liked how you threw that anchor in the water, man. That was some. That was the shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that crap, man. I was like, mm -hmm. well, I'm down to the swell. Okay. Oh, now. and uh, Bobby Turner. Bobby Turner. Your fishing spot, man, is the spot. We were just sitting there talking, drinking our beer. All of a sudden, I'm like, oh, crap. And then just from there, it was Eight, gone. nine fish. Yeah, almost Eight. ten fish in that one spot within a matter of ten minutes. Yeah. So, thanks yeah. for showing Deep Fry King your spot. Yeah. I remembered, man. We, we stole your spot. We stole your fish. We slaughtered them on that lake, man. Yeah. I mean, they were big fish. That was probably the last big fish on the lake. You guys just need to stay off of there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we only fished not even a quarter of that lake. Yeah, yeah. And D DNA, I had to admit, he works his ass off when you're out there, guys. I mean, he, he, he does what he does, and he does it well. You know, we had a great time. Oh, yeah. So we're very fortunate to know him, as, as we say, you know. Yeah. Now, after this video, he may not want to talk to us anymore, but you know how it is. You know. Yeah. Everybody's got to get a hard time. You know, got, you got to get your little ration. You, huh? I so said, we got nothing but love for you, Sip. Yeah, yeah, you know, we're Sip. We're just messing with you. Don't Texas go crying. Texas snort. Don't be crying. You know, we had to get together and do the Slits Malt Licka video. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and by the way, Sip's channel is El Grande Dog. I think I deactivated his account for not posting any videos, but... Yeah. You can show, check it out and see what historical data he has there. But. Yeah, that's true. You know, Sip, if you send me those video <laughs> logs, I might be able to put a video together for you. <laughs> you know, I'll help you out. You know, I'll help a brother out. That, that isn't a problem. You know, just send them to me, man. Just send them to me. But, you know, he probably wouldn't like the way I put the funny hats on him and stuff, you know. Yeah. Something like that. I wouldn't do anything like that. Oh, no, not but. you. So, oh man, so what do you think? That's the end of this beer review. Slick, malt and liquor. Oh yeah, that was definitely so, What is it? Support malt liquor? That's it. Support malt liquor. Now these aren't 40s. This isn't a 40 video, but it is a malt liquor video. I think if it was a 40 video, we'd probably be doing it on the floor, pointing at the roof. Yeah, something. <laughs> yeah, because this is pretty stout, man. Yeah. Probably, like I said, you need pretzels with it. Ah, uh, the swill. Empty can. It's skunky, y'all. It is skunky, but man, it, it, they got a kick. They definitely do. They got a kick. I guess that's why they have that bull in the front. Yeah. Kicks you right in the nuts, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, guys, this is Polo. He's going to get him a camera. Uh, he's a friend of mine. I met him through YouTube, believe it or not, and actually what's really funny is that he grew up just down the road from me, oh, uh, yeah. you know, and all that type of stuff. So he, we're all local around here, in other words. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, it's pretty cool. If you don't have a YouTube channel, maybe you want to give it a shot, you know, you can put your, you know, do a burnout or something, do something cool, you know. 
somebody jumping on the trampoline, that ain't getting it. Unless she's hot. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then bikini maybe. And a bikini. Yeah. So, <laughs> y'all, Slits Malt Liquor, it is drinkable. It will give you a buzz. That's definitely. Buy pretzels with it. Make and, the experience uh, better. Yeah, make the experience better. <laughs> Don't drink the swill. And that's our beer review. And to all of you guys, Merry Christmas. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the beer review. And I'm sure my phone's going to blow up with a bunch of text when this hits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Polo, I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. And guys, you all have a Merry Christmas.